Hello class, this is just a brief video about our upcoming topic on Joseph Lysette. Born in Staffordshire, England in 1744, Lysette spent his early life working as a professional portrait and miniature painter. On the 10th of August 1811, Lysette was convicted of forgery and sentenced to transportation for 14 years. Lysette sailed in the convict transport ship General Hewitt under Captain James Wallace of the 46th Regiment. The journey took 165 days to reach Port Jackson and 34 people aboard died during the voyage. Can you imagine spending 165 days on a boat? After spending some time in Sydney, Lysette was again convicted of forgery after using a copper plate press to forge money. This time he was sent to Newcastle. Take note of the church in the painting. One of Lysette's first jobs was to draw up plans for a church in Newcastle where the current Christchurch Cathedral is built. While the old church is not standing today, the centerpiece that Lysette painted is still on display in the new church right now. While not designed by Lysette, this font is another surviving artifact from the old church. And this here is the original foundation stone, which would have said Governor Lachlan Macquarie on it. Lysette also helped with our current understanding about the local Aboriginal people. This was done through his watercolour paintings. You can see many of his works displayed at the art gallery and the museum in Newcastle. Do these paintings remind you of anywhere? Hopefully this video has shown how important art from the past is at showing us what the present looks like today. An example of this can be seen in cave paintings, which we will look at in further detail next week. Thank you class for watching my video. Bye!